let's go. Today at uh, Gadget Greats, I just pop down to Gadget Greats, check out two tablets, and the second one is the Hyundai T7, which has got the Exynos four quad processor inside. Okay, now this is this is a, a pretty much a seven inch device. In comparison with a, a ten inch device I just looked at. Now this reminds me straight away like a large. Samson phone. You know, it's got a nice beveled edge. Like a, it's not chromed. It's just a, a silver plastic edge with a nice, good quality plastic, white plastic back. I'll go through the specs also in a bit. But uh, we've got a back cam, light, microphone. It's a front cam, I believe. What ports have we got here? We got uh, power, mini HDMI out. That's a, underneath that little compartment. It's a TF card slot. It's like a rubberized cover. It's quite snug. A TF card, external SD card. That's a reset button switch. Oh, there's no markings there, but that's what that definitely what that is. It's a headphone, stereo headphone connector. And then we've got a uh, mini USB. And finally we've got a mic, if we go around we've got a volume up and down, and then we've got a power button, no home button because you're going to be using the screen for that on this tablet. Okay, let's just power it on, boot it up, and see what it's like. And there she goes. While well, that's booting up, let's check out what we've got in the box. Okay, we've got a Instruction manual, it's got some English and Chinese there, let's have a look through. It says dual core on the on the manual. Okay, it's booted up pretty quick. Okay. A lot of Chinese in there. Let's see if there's any English in the manual. Yep, we've got English in here. There's a good good proportion of the manual's got English. Now I know this is running Android 4.04, but I'm also going to go through the specs in the manual, just to skim through what else is inside. It's a, a 1.6 GHz rated uh, CPU board, it's a Mali 400 uh, 3D graphics GPU, it's got 1 GB of RAM, 2 GB optional, priority inside DDR3. I have not opened the tablet up, so I don't know how that's optional, if you can add or what. It takes external SD cards. It's a 3,300 milliampers per hour uh, battery, lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts. will give you about four hours of uh, high def video with uh, HDMI output, giving about four hours also music about eight hours of constant use on a simple task like mp3s or something like that the power adapter is five volt three amp uh, screen size is seven inch screen size from corner to corner it's a 16 10 aspect ratio now the resolution of the the, the seven inch display is uh, 1280 by 800 an led color 1.6 m it's a five point multi-touch capacitive screen. It's full IPS, it's multi-angle, it's got uh, Wi-Fi, it also supports 3G USB dongles, so that will be your standard selection of dongles, like all the tablets support, like the Huawei dongles and so on. You can play uh, MKV video, 1080p video, no problem at all. And uh, 
can have lyric synchronization with the inbuilt movie player. You've got ebook support, Excel file support, and so on. Okay, and it only weighs 303 grams, so it's it's as light as a phone, basically. Supports OTG. It's got gravity sensor, USB 2, and uh, it's got multi language. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the operating system. It really does feel like a large, it's, it's, it's almost like a, a gigantic Samsung S3. That's what it really feels like. So you whip that out, it just absolutely light, makes the Samsung Galaxy Note look puny. In fact, it really does punify the, the Galaxy. And it's, it's really a nice build. Very similar to the Galaxy. Let's see what apps are built in. Yeah, we've got 360. I think it's in Chinese, possibly the UI. Oh no, just that. There's a there's a Chinese 360 app there. Another 360 app then. Tutu Benchmark. I think someone Gadget Great's already won that. APK install. Got web browsing. Calculator. Calendar. Camera. Clock. Download application. Download manager. Email client. Uh, ES File Explorer. Task manager. Flash. Gallery app, uh, Gmail's already built in, uh, iReader for ebooks, you've got uh, Google Local, got Maps, Music, and Google Navigation. I think that's because this has got GPS, but I'm going to test that. So go into settings. You've got QQ, Play Store, Google Talk, it's like a Chinese game there, uh, YouTube app, uh, YGPS. Yeah, it's definitely got a GPS chipset. Let's just see what that app is there. Can't see that right now. It's the white background. That's a sound recorder. Let's pull back out. Okay, UT player and the weather app. Okay. We're indoors at the moment, so I'm not going to try and use the GPS, even though it'll probably function quite well because we're quite high up in the building. Okay, let's display. Let's get that brightness fully up. Yeah, it's already full. That's good. Okay, here we can choose HDMI resolution. 69, we can choose pan and scan, which probably no one ever will. But uh, at least it gives the option there, just in case you're connecting to an old TV. It's uh, pan and scan, or you just want to choose pan and scan for an old video file you're playing. Okay, about tablet. Model T7. Android 4.04. Okay, okay, it's got Bluetooth. Okay, develop options. Just standard large selection of develop options. Okay, so we're not using Bluetooth, so I'm just going to turn that off to save the battery. Okay, so this. Uh, Let's give Antutu benchmarker a run. See what this little beast gets. Wow, did it really get 1400? That's great. Give it a proper test with nothing running in the background. Let's see what she gets. Can we look through the specs on this unit on the little laptop I got next to me? inch IPS Hyundai T7 quad core tablet PC. Now I know the instruction manual says dual core, but uh, instruction manuals are prone to being made before the device has been finalized because normally with documentation it's, it's created at the same time as the device is created to ensure that uh, the documentation is finished at the same time as the device is finished. Now obviously they just either typoed that in the documentation. It's either a typo or I've just misread it. Yeah, I've misread it. It's quad core. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking through the specifications. On this laptop here while that test is being done. Dual cameras. One gig RAM. Now the, the, the CPU is rated at 1.6 gigahertz, but I think the actual speed it's running at is uh, 1.4 gigahertz.
the shell is made of a, a durable plastic. It's actually quite a good quality plastic. Looks very Samsung like the quality of the plastic. And it really is like a, a Goliath Samsung Galaxy Note. Supports Czech, Danish, German, English, Spanish, Russian, French, Italian, Dutch, Norwegian, Polish, Greek, Portuguese, uh, Swedish. Turkish, Korean, Japanese, simplified Chinese and traditional Chinese. Comes with a charger, 5 volt, 3 amp charger, uh, OTG cable and a USB cable, and the headphones as well. I mean the dimensions of the actual tablet, the, the screen is 7 inches, but the dimensions of the tablet are 196 millimeters by 118 millimeters and the depth of the tablet is a uh, 10.9 millimeter 10.9 millimeters I mean it's it's pretty slim at the same time it's uh, it's really very very Samsung Galaxy Note like you see the, the nice solid uh, back to it has a nice nice finish to it really it's really quite a desirable little looking tablet. Okay, those results are in. Let's have a look. We've got, I'll go back page. We've got 14,630. So that's uh, it's getting getting a really good score. The firmware is really quite polished on this unit. I mean, this is a, a production model, straight out of a, a stack of uh, units for sale here. I've, got this review test unit it's not a pre-production model or anything this is this is a stock firmware for resale that's a nice score this nice little seven inch tablet okay I think that's everything I think um, I'll try a little web browsing quickly Galaxy Note-ish, the feeling. It does feel like a Note 2 or an S3, except that it's, it's like a giant version. Anyway, there's, uh, there's a little review of the, the Hyundai T7. Nice uh, quad-core, very Samsung phone-like, uh, 3G compatible uh, GPS 7-inch tablet. I mean, this, uh, I think with the, that and Tutu Benchmark, this really puts the heat on the, the new 7-inch anal, anal, whatever you want to call it, tablets coming out now. I know a lot of the benchmarks I've done have been on preview models for the anals, but uh, this, this Hyundai is definitely going to be a very popular item indeed, especially for the price. It's a very good price right now on GadgetGreats.com. Okay, anyway, this is uh, APAD.TV Admin signing off.